I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education, and we're here at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, to ask some big questions. Let's do it. What is the best thing about Hopkins? Um, the best thing about Hopkins is probably um, how cool all the people are. People are interested in a lot of different things, um, and I think we're all just like really creative people. Probably just the environment that like the culture it breeds. I like how it's like competitive, but also we can have some fun. Uh, I really like how open the professors are to talking to us and meeting with us, and uh, they're really helpful. Yeah. The amount of opportunities that you can do, you can just branch out into whatever field of science that you want and you don't feel like you have to be pressurized or like limited to one specific field. Yeah, you can just use as many resources as you can and yeah, it's just really easy. A lot of the faculty are doing really, really cool research and being a part of that, seeing that, uh, you know, having the amenities that we have is really, really inspiring every day. Um, so I would say the campus just because it's really pretty. I definitely think the people here, they're very genuine and very good people. Uh, what's the worst thing about Hopkins? Classwork. <laughs> what are <laughs> what are you... That. that one's not as hard, yeah. Sure, sure. What's your major? I'm computer science. Okay, that sounds hard. The culture, a lot of people just study all day. I feel like there's often a disconnect between the student body and uh, the administration, and sometimes some of the decisions they make don't necessarily seem to... Uh, correspond to what the student body believes, so a little bit more transparency there is something that I would hope for personally and I think the rest of the student body would too. The food. I'd take it <laughs> that was That was quick. <laughs> what, what, is, what makes it so bad? It's just like the same thing over and over again every single day for lunch and dinner. So like it's, it's like anywhere. Food. It's definitely anywhere. You get yeah. bored of it after a while when you're eating three meals a day there. So. Fair enough. If you don't have your time management down, then it becomes really hard to be able to just schedule things and be able to do many things that you want to do. So, I mean, as long as you have that down, then it's, it's not manageable, yeah. Sometimes people care about school a little bit too much and they're like a little stressed about it. So maybe just like how stressed people are about like school and how like sometimes they can't focus on other things. Totally. Uh, what do you tend to do on weekends here? Uh, I study. <laughs> Fair enough. There's a lot of biomedical engineering to get through. Um, well, I'm on the women's lacrosse team, so I travel a decent amount for games or at practice. So that's usually my weekends in the spring. A lot of the time I'm just like relaxing. Uh, I mean, last weekend was pretty crazy because of Spring Fair, but... Um, for people who don't know, what is, what is that? Um, so Spring Fair is just like, uh, it's like our, uh, our like fun weekend, I guess. We have like a bunch of food vendors come in, um, a lot of different events, like start off with fireworks and stuff. Definitely go out a decent amount, um, but you know, I know a fair number of people who have to study just because of the academic rigor of this, uh, this the university and the school itself. So uh, yeah, there's, there's opportunities to have fun, but again, like I guess tying into one of the more difficult things about the school is that um, it's very, very serious and sometimes there's not as much time to let loose and enjoy yourself. Do my work or like hang out with friends, I guess. Especially when it's nice out. So. Yeah. There's definitely a portion of it doing work, but then, you know, hanging out at nighttime and then going to dinner and kind of just relaxing a little bit. Awesome. And last question, what did you write your college application essays about? I wrote my college application essay about juggling. So, juggling. Yeah, juggling. Right. Do you still juggle? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I can juggle, but not not, sure, sure. not not as well. All right, fair enough. I moved halfway through high school, so I wrote mine about like that transition and how I handled that. I wrote my college application essay about uh, riding the bus <laughs> and like how in my community I met a lot of people through like riding the bus and how that was like a really like important part of my childhood. My, I think so. In high school, I uh, had to get surgery on my ankle, and I was out for like five months from lacrosse. So I wrote it on that, like my comeback. Amazing. Um, go, go Jays. Go. <laughs> One, two, three. Jays. Go Jays. Oh, okay. Jays. Well, I liked your take. That was, yeah, yeah, no, well, good work. <laughs> All right. If you like this video and want to learn more about top colleges and universities all around the world, please like this video and subscribe to Crimson Education. And if you want to take the next step towards going to the college of your dreams, click the link below for a free consultation with one of our academic experts. Goodbye. <laughs>